In Proposition 22, we prove that with any three lines that satisfy the conditions of Proposition 20, then on any line of arbitrary length, we can always construct a triangle with its sides congruent to the three given lines. To begin this proposition, we are given line GH of arbitrary length, and we are also given line AB, line CD, and line EF. Now these three lines must satisfy the conditions of Proposition 20, which means that the sum of any two lines should always be greater than the remaining line. First, with line AB and line GH, we apply Proposition 3. From this, we get line AB is congruent to line GI. Now with line CD and line IH, we apply Proposition 3 again. And from this we get line CD is congruent to line IJ. Now with line EF and line JH, we apply Proposition 3 one last time. So from this, we get line EF is congruent to line JK. Next, we create circle IG with postulate 3. Again, with postulate 3, we create circle JK. Now, where both circles intersect, we create point L. Next, with postulate 1, we create line IL and line JL. So now we have constructed triangle IJL, we will now prove that its sides are congruent to the three given lines. First, looking at circle IG, we can see that line IG is the radius, and line IL is also the radius. Therefore, by definition 5, both lines are congruent. Next, looking at circle JK, we can see that line JK is the radius, and line JL is also the radius. So, by definition 5, both lines are congruent. So now we have line AB is congruent to line GI, and line GI is congruent to line IL. By axiom 1, line AB is congruent to line IL. Next, we have line EF is congruent to line JK, and line JK is congruent to line JL. By axiom 1, Line EF is congruent to line JL. And therefore, we have proven that triangle IJL has been constructed with its sides congruent to the three given lines.